Welcome back. Up next, it's Classic versus Innovation. What? Yeah. Losers match. One of them goes home now, and one of them goes home in the final match when Creator bashes them. Yeah, that's right. This is the New World these Order. Two guys, these two guys are just waiting. These two guys are sacrificial lambs Listen. for Creator. The time of, of Classic and of Innovation and of Dark and all. That time's over. It's okay. done. Now it's Ragnarok. It's Creator. Yeah. It's Keen. Yeah. Okay. These are these are the players now. Well, it's time for these two completely average GSL champions to eliminate each other. That's right. In this frenzy, let the yeah. weak kill each other off. Said the players in the round of 16. Let them fight them over the scraps. These yeah. two hyenas. Just fighting for a chance to play against Creator. Fight. Still can't believe this is what we're doing. Okay. Makers Classic. I thought a classic. The start of today was going to like win two games and then jump into one of those Mario tubes where it's going up and go uh, chuk, 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 and just yeah. go to the round of 16. <laughs> he level jumps. Yeah, into he the uses round of the eight. whistle and flies to the finals. Reciprocity, innovation. But uh, no. Here they are in the pits, mud wrestling just to get a chance to fight Creator. Yeah. A weird world. But you know what? I'm happy to eliminate one of these guys now. What I really <gasps> want is to just clear the road for Maru. I want him to win another four in a row. Okay. I want StarCraft 2 to become boring, be, and we can trace it to Serral and Maru winning everything. That's right. You know? Where it's like, really went they lose there. one tournament, and you're like, <gasps> but then they win all their yeah. next ones, and you're yeah. like, oh, okay, that's, we're back <laughs> to, we're back to normal. That's good. Well, I, do you have any predictions for this one? Because I'm not sure what to to think. I actually think, actually, you know, you know what? Let me go out on a limb here. I think maybe Innovation takes this. Okay. Maybe Classic is a little bit demoralized. He's going to the army. I think Classic's normal PVT level is above Innovation's normal TVP level. Okay. Um, yeah, that being said, I... I actually, when you first asked the question to me, but then interrupted me to give your own answer. That's how I cast So really, now. it's just like, <laughs> it's like you're on a date and they ask you a question that they want to this answer. This is what we're, we call, I call rhetorical casting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the first thing that popped in my mind, though, was innovation. Yeah. And I'm not 100% sure why, but it did. It just, it was like, oh, yeah. there it is. Look at that. Why is my brain thinking it might be innovation when? Well, I think there's a good reason to think it might be. Yeah. He's in good shape. I think he uh, played better games in the ones that we saw him lose, even, than uh, I think Classic did. I think Classic had some more questionable mo moments back there. I think Innovation was holding his own and exhibiting why he's a great player. Mm -hmm. But um, Keen, just dominant today. The only thing with Keen as well is he does seem like his aggression is it – he can get a little bit overboard. When it works, it really works. But if it doesn't work, that's exactly why he lost. Well, his multitasking is real good. Um, the thing is, you can have Terran players that are really good with that type of style. Because sometimes they just get so fast and so good that it really is hard to stop. Uh, the way... They, but Keen is not one-dimensional in that way. He has other more macro-esque moves and stuff. So I don't want to 
pigeonhole in there, but he definitely was pulling that off against Creator, right? He was, he was playing that many drops type of style. Anyways, it's a uh, Stargate. It's just the pretty standard Terran stuff. Get all your buildings, build some units, try to stay alive, don't lose all your CVs. Okay, another shade up here. Innovation gonna try to come out here and push away anything. And we have that Oracle, not far out. And we'll just have to see if that Oracle does anything, Artosis. Can you imagine, like, see, what we're watching here is very standard and normal, right? He's like, he's shading up, and the Marines walk out, and the Marines walk back. Imagine you never watched StarCraft before you're watching this, you're like, so wait a minute, are the little guys with the guns afraid of the ghost? <laughs> <laughs> Can they see the ghost? Yeah. Are they afraid of it? Mm, not exactly. They're trying to actually, yeah. uh... What are those? In fact, the ghost is afraid of the guys with guns. Now, it's a ghost. Why, why do those hydraulic buildings keep going up when the ghost is coming towards him? Oh, because the ghost can't move through buildings, just like a ghost. But can't. it can move through people? Oh, yeah, just like a ghost can normally move through people, yeah. But it can't move through walls. No, no, no. It's not that kind of ghost. It's not your uh, traditional Ghostbusters huh. ghost. It's really weird. The kind of ghost that moves through buildings goes like this. It goes, ooh, <laughs> oh, gotcha. I need you to find my bones. <laughs> Let me push a penny up a wall to see. <laughs> what is that movie called? Is it actually a movie called Ghost? There's definitely a movie called Ghost. Ghost. Yes. With the makeout scene where they're yeah, like making yeah, a yeah. clay pot. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that's called the Ghost. Yes. Yeah. All right. It's a great movie. Oh yeah. Let's go watch that after the cast. Um, okay. Is he gonna try to pounce in? He has three oracles, yes, so he, he can is. actually, he might, he might. Yeah, he is. Oh my God. Now can he get the Marines fast enough with the oracles? Looks like the adepts are gonna tank a lot of the damage. And from here, there is nothing to fight. Uh, oh, actually, excuse me, there's Marines under the Raven. Yeah, this okay, was... so he still wins that. Oh, my God. <laughs> he killed the entire army. <laughs> yeah. And he's getting SCVs at the end. How much energy do these things have? Oh, this is what it looks like if Oracles aren't energy-based. Okay, he's okay. Wow. That looked really weird. Look at that little guy trying to get away. Well, that was a very cool attack there by Classic. Mm -hmm. Definitely well thought out. Uh, it did knock out all of the infantry. Now, there's other anti-air here. So there's Vikings and um, Cyclones, but pretty big blow. Yeah. You know, the one thing about Adepts is they're kind of like the Zerglings for Protoss. A you know, th th they're not as expendable, actually, but you're kind of okay losing them in, in fights as long as you're killing off some of their stuff. Do you know what they actually are? They're Protoss Roaches. They like, okay. don't really That's scale that well, but they're they're kind of good in the early game, right? I guess their harassment qualities are a little bit like Zerglings, so I guess you're right about that. Okay, he needs to either sink these or one of these medevacs is always going to be able to heal him. Nicely done. Seven more kills, suffering almost no losses. Gateway's coming down here, and the third base is coming down as well. Yeah, Classic is playing very nicely right now. Like, well, Innovation's army is continuing to grow, but Classic was very careful to not get his third Nexus too quickly with this build. He added a bunch of gates, got his Twilight and Forge up. So that, I feel like that makes it so he doesn't die. Yeah, he push. might be able to absorb this attack pretty nicely. Let's keep in mind that the, the series Classic lost was actually a little while ago. You know, it was at the start of our day today. He's definitely had some time to kind of reset his mind and try to get himself back into the uh, mindset where you can yeah. actually come through with a with a win here. Now, hold on. Hold on. Here comes Innovation. He, wow. did, he did get through the gap. The gap was basically unattended. Unintended. Unattended. <laughs> <laughs> Flight attendant. Sorry, I don't know how to cast this, guys. It is mech behind this for yeah. Innovation. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking about this, no regret, the other day. Like, have you ever seen anyone kill those rocks in the center? No. Everyone's just content to just always try yeah. to go through the little hole but not be able to make you it. No one will kill the rocks. <laughs> you just watch won't the two do armies it. mad dog each other between there. It's the weirdest thing. Just kill the rocks, somebody. Open that up. Stim. Oh, excuse me, Storm. What happened to me? What happened to me in this cast? Suddenly I can't find any of the right words. I'm no, saying actually, words. I think you became more present. This is how you always are. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> You're finally realizing. Oh, hold on. Oracle comes in. Snipes one SCV. 
Enough turrets and Vikings. There's no way you want to stay there for too much longer. Yeah, he has, like, no energy anyways, considering he is in energy debt after how much the Oracles did in the right. natural. He's borrowing on their future energy. <laughs> Oracles are in sleep debt now. Quite a so few more. High Templars are out. He, his army is like, you're not going to be able to break him as of right now. Um, but it is mech, right? This is not bio. Against bio, this force would be super, super good. But against mech, like, he doesn't... It, I mean, it's not that it's bad, right? But if you turtle up correctly with mech, I don't think that this really does anything, right? This is the type of army that kills mech on the move, not mech entrenched. I agree. Appears, though, he's, he's going to try to come forward anyways here, especially with some of the wall-offs here. It's hard to capitalize on the zealots that you have. Uh, classic presses on. Now, what about the natural? Is that totally safe? Yeah, like I said, it's actually fine. You can hit with too many tanks from there. Yeah, if you're running by, it's kind of crazy. Oh, my God. Uh, is he actually? Well, well, that's good storms. Oh, wow. I'm not sure well, what to think right now. Um, it doesn't seem right. Like, yeah. maybe, maybe he breaks him. But if he does, it still doesn't seem right. <laughs> I can't believe he attacked into that, but... Here we are, and that actually is a situation where the Terran's going to lose the third. All right, guys. Well, I guess he was just get that your far best ahead. Protoss memes out now. Okay, now's your moment. Yeah, the kids are You're tripping over charge lots into a depot wall with six yeah. siege tanks behind it, and it breaks. The problem with depots against zealots is that the zealots do have a melee attack that can help destroy them, um, and then ultimately kill everything behind that. So this was uh... okay. Wow. I guess a lot of this was also those storms behind the depots as well. Oh, yeah. No, right. it, it, that's what softened up everything and was allowed well, to eliminate the I'm tanks. Just, I'm just kind of shocked. I guess most of us could agree that normally you'd look at this with, with RTS knowledge and think, oh, that probably shouldn't be able to get through there. But yeah, yeah. I mean, even with a barracks as part of the wall as well. Well, speaking as how, uh, how the two armies scale, it's really good that he knew that, right? Because over time, Innovation's army is going to get stronger and stronger in comparison to what Classic's making. So that was a very good uh, kill timing right there. So we were talking about ghosts earlier. Yeah. You know, kind of going on the theme of scary movies. If this was a horror movie, that would have been the opening scene is uh, Innovation thinking that he's totally fine with a wall in against uh, a large chunk of melee units. And we, some, yeah, some, we could have yeah. called that movie yeah. The Depots Have Eyes. The Depot. <laughs> <laughs> and then, that's right, 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 is it GG's? That's the opening. <laughs> the, 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 the title of the movie comes up on screen. Okay, Turbo Cruise, 84, let's go. Did you see that movie? Uh, the Hills Have Eyes, the... I think I probably did a long time ago. It's, it's old. I can't even remember. I saw that before I uh, ever even moved to Korea. Yeah, it's super old. It's right? super old. Yeah. It's really, really messed up scary movie, actually. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't watch a lot of scary movies, though, to be honest. I like, oh, I actually enjoy watching scary movies. Reciprocity, more than innovation. Oh, most any other scary movies. I don't like to, and do you know why? Why? Because I don't like to be scared because I'm not dumb. Like, <laughs> why would I want to be scared? No, I like scary movies because they're dumb. That's why I enjoy watching them. It's, 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 it's mostly formulaic. I mean, there's a couple really good classic scary movies. Like what? Scream was a good movie. Oh, Scream? That, that was, was Scream? Yeah, that, okay. was a, that was a great movie. Yeah, but, yeah, that was um, okay. But I, I, I like... Uh, oh, what about like Scream 6? Was that one good? <laughs> is there a Scream 6? Oh, I don't know. But there's like a Saw 9. I haven't caught up on those. But. <laughs> uh, no, I enjoy watching them because I can kind of like mm -hmm. talk to friends through them and make jokes and I don't know. Just kind of get into it and have fun. Do you do that so you don't get scared? Yeah. Because talking during the yeah. movie is the best way to not get scared. That's true. When I'm in a movie theater seeing a scary movie and people, I hear people like, ha, 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 and like uh, talk to their friend, I'm like, yeah, uh, you're afraid just there. like me. Be quiet. Don't go in there. In this case, it's like, don't go by that proxy pilot. Uh-oh, here's a scary movie. Don't make your command center. Don't make your command center there, but don't get over to the right. Ooh, classic. He well, is the killer. Yeah, that's pretty good. What oh, was another good scary movie like that? There's actually not that many. I really